Yeah, much warmer this morning than yesterday warming, uh, morning, actually running about 3 to 10 degrees warmer than yesterday morning, so we're feeling the heat. All right, so I want to talk to you a bit about our normal high temperature. That's where we should be at this point. That number is 85. In July, we've only hit 85 or higher three times, so we have been well below normal this month, the warmest day, 88 degrees. Now, today, we have a possibility of hitting 80, 90 degrees. If we hit 89, it is still the warmest day of the year because, of course, we only seeing temperatures at 88 degrees. Let's talk about what's happening throughout the day. Plenty of sunshine. That's going to help us to get to that 90 degree mark. That southwest wind moving in more moisture in the atmosphere, so you're going to feel that humidity hot and humid for you as you head out the door. Even this morning, it's a bit muggy out there. We see dew point of about 64. The winds remain calm. We do have a temperature right now of 71 degrees for Indianapolis. So we start out in the 70s here this morning. 65 for Zionsville, about 63 for Fishers. Temperatures at around 62 for Bloomington. So temperatures surrounding in the 60s. Indianapolis, the warm spot on the map at 70 degrees. All right, take a look at this. This is our visibility map. You can tell that visibility has been lowered on the western part of the state, dropping to about 1.25 miles in Lafayette. This is very low visibility for you again this morning. So if you're traveling on the western part of the state, or if you're traveling out, you could run into some patchy fog that lowers visibility, especially once again for areas where there's water or low lying areas. Visibility reduced to about 2.5 miles in Bloomington. So visibility an issue as we plan your day. It will not be an issue for long. Areas of fog this morning. Temperatures near normal already at the noon hour. Your lunch hour temperatures at 85 degrees. Now we're going to go for 90 today, although it's possible to fall slightly short of that number. I think we're going to get very, very close. Throughout the day today, we're quiet, but tomorrow we're going to start seeing some showers and thunderstorms develop on radar. It's going to happen early in the morning. So overnight, we start to see a few spotty showers move into the state. You can see those showers and storms kind of roll through after 2 a.m. moving across the area. So you're going to wake up in the morning if you're waking up early to a few showers and storms. We're quiet throughout the afternoon with some cloud cover there, and then showers and storms develop once again, mostly south of Interstate 70. So tomorrow, we're going to get in on a little rain, add some much needed rain to the forecast. We haven't seen rain in the forecast for many of us for over a week. So plan to prepare for rain tomorrow. Thursday after the front pass is a much cooler air in place. A beautiful day. So looking forward to my pick of the week, which is Thursday. Here it is all together. The seven day planning forecast from 90 to 80. That's a cold front passing over the area, dropping the temperatures by 10 degrees. Seventies return to the forecast on Thursday. And once again, this weekend, we deal with the chance of showers and thunderstorms in the forecast on an isolated basis. Heat and humidity is back with temperatures in the 80s.